what is going on guys? Rabe here and today we're taking a look at Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutations. Leonardo Ninja Turtle into Weapon. Uh, so as you can see by this uh, poor child who is saying to himself, uh, please take the picture quickly, I am about to get beat up. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Leonardo and he turns into two katana swords my goodness you can flip up the flap and it shows you right here let me just back this up there we go you can see the instructions are right here for turning leo into the two swords they do have all four turtles i think um oh maybe maybe not i did see both of these guys uh, Raphael and Michelangelo. I chose Leonardo because no reason. I really don't have any reason. Uh, so he's got a little bio back here. It says, mutated from ooze and raised in the ways of ninjutsu by the rat sensei splinter. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside the sewer lair. If I ev everywhere, the Ninja Turtles transform into other powerful iconic weapons to fight the forces of evil. I don't know how that would work, but oh. Okay, uh, this is kind of like a Generation 1 Megatron thing where it's like, well, I can turn into a weapon, but then somebody's got to hold, someone has to hold me. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually, I know why I chose it. Uh, Raphael looked, kind of, well, I don't know. Leonardo looks like maybe the most poseable. No, probably not. I don't know. They just looked silly as all get out, so I picked one up for funsies. Uh, they're $15. I got this at Target. And let's just check them out. <laughs> okay, guys. Here we go. Leonardo, the sword turtle. Um, so here's Leonardo. And uh, as you can see, it's, you know, it's, it's Leonardo. It's, he's, he's recognizable as Leonardo. Um, here's a... Doesn't, he's got a metal shell. Uh, so that's for starters. This thing is actually a little heavier than I anticipated it was going to be. Uh, but I think it's just all the stuff folded up here. And, you know, all the extra parts they needed to make it transform. Um, he's got very, very limited articulation. The head does not move. Um, legs can go out to the side a little bit just due to the transformation. He does have an ankle tilt, which is kind of weird uh but also kind of nice so you can kind of spread the legs a bit so it's not just like this Hurr. so you can't get the Hurr. um he does have universal joints for his arms uh this is not this is just a transformation joint not an elbow i was hoping maybe he had like an elbow joint but no not so much uh and he can bring his arm in to show you his sword look here is my sword Look, here is my other sword. Um, so he's got the two katana, one shorter than the other. They are both still very short. Um, and I guess you could theoretically store them in his back if you so desire to. If you can get it out of his arm. Yeah, I mean, they kind of sort of fit back there. So, you know, you got that going on. And uh, he could probably do a pretty good job of sort of reaching for them. There you go. So, yeah, but that's not why you're here, is it? Uh, so you want to just remove these guys because they are not going to be of any use in the sword mode. And uh, here we go. Here's what you want to do. You want to go ahead and crack this guy's head in half here, just like so. No! We'll just pull his head bits apart just for dramatic effect and you can go ahead and actually push those back and forward respectively just like so all right and now ha just yank them apart just like that uh next we are going to go ahead and uh open this panel up bring this bit up like so flip the head in flip the panel back down and extend that out. Uh, now we're going to take his front shell, just flip it around to the back there. We're going to take his leg and twist it. It only goes in one direction. Just twist it in there and it'll soft lock in place. It'll still wiggle, which is obnoxious, but it'll kind of soft lock there. And flip his toe underneath. Uh, now for the arm, you want to go ahead and pull this out on this little stalk here. Bring it all the way down, 
then split his arm like so and you it's kind of weird it just kind of floats you just want to wrap it sort of around the, the handle as a guard uh, but it doesn't really work all that well because it is just on this little floaty stalk um, I guess you can try and kind of maybe we can push that in let's see all right yeah okay so that does actually lock into place it was not doing that for me before but uh, it does in fact lock in there uh, it's still a bit floaty but uh, you kind of get the idea it is sort of a guard and there you go you have one sword and it it's silly looking I mean <laughs> it's obviously got turtle parts attached to it and for the other side you want to do exactly the same thing we're just gonna open this up bring it up here stick his head in there close it up flip this around just make sure it stays into place flip that forward bring that down this comes out and then we'll try and lock this into place here as well there we go very nice and bring this down and around like a so and you can of course extend this as well or if you wanted this to match these blades you can leave one shorter than the other so you can have that going on if you so desire um, but you can also just bring that out and you can even flip it up if you wanted to have a weird shaped sword tip I don't know I don't know um, but yeah here they are these are the these are the blades let me see if I can back this up a little bit just to get a little more in the frame here here we are the Leonardo blades um, and you can hold them in your hands if you are a child <laughs> which is what these are meant for and you have smaller hands in mind you can probably hold these a lot better they're still really small dinky blades uh, really chunky and just, I mean you know more like little little daggers guys watch it's not a YouTube video it's a first-person adventure game <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say don't get these. I'm not going to say you should get these. I'm going to say you've seen the video, make up your own mind. They're silly. They're nonsense, but it's a cute little niche thing. Um, uh, that's, I'm going to at least enjoy showing my friends when they come over. I'm going to be like, hey guys, look at this one I picked up here. I'm kidding, I don't have any friends. But if I did, I would totally show them uh, my sweet Leonardo blades that have his like body attached here. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to get crazy with it, you could even like leave his head sticking out the side like, hey, hey, watch what you're doing over there. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're dumb. These are dumb. Don't, <laughs> don't try and convince me otherwise. These are super dumb, uh, but they're fun dumb. So, you know, I give them credit for that. I think I would have preferred like a $10 price point for these, but I understand the engineering that went into them. Uh, and you know, it is ingenious engineering, even if it is super dumb. Uh, but, you know, take it as you will. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys, or the, this episode, for this review. Uh, I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, uh, be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the video. And of course, subscribe for more. And check out my channel. In the meantime, I've got way more Ninja Turtle stuff there and all kinds of good things to watch and enjoy. Uh, but that's going to do for now, guys. Thanks again for watching. I have half a Leonardo. <laughs> Bye for now.